Welcome to the day in the life. Just got back from school, so it's more of an afternoon in the life. I still go to high school, so I have a pretty limited amount of time available to make content for my social media accounts. And today we got out of school a bit earlier than usual, so I like to use those days to make my content. Where's my notebook? We have a couple of different things planned today. I've been trying to use a notebook to write everything down. First of all, we need to do a quick studio cleanup. So give my mind, yeah. You gotta say something. To get my heart back, baby You gotta say something I feel like having a clean space is something that I need to make the best stuff that I possibly can. Having a studio clean up every once in a while is super essential for me personally. Things can often get pretty messy when you're working on a lot of content at the same time. So try to find a day or two in the week to really do a deep clean of your studio and um, just basically do a reset. This is not only for your physical space but also your for your mind so yeah that's super refreshing always i'm also currently testing the new rode wireless pro microphones thank you rode for sending this out i hope the audio sounds good whole house looking like a scene out of insecure talking about drinks but you think you're fit floating through life because it's sink or swim take what you want by the horns and ride you only want truth but they told you lies get on your knees when you pray to god and that's a capital g when i'm saying god really wants you when i say it's time having this gear shelf to store all my equipment and have a clear organization has been super essential in my workflow there are, are boxes for everything um I, I definitely have to reorganize those because it's it's a mess right now but it's always good to have a place to store all of your gear and just know where to put things. That's like the most important thing when you're trying to keep your studio clean. You have to assign a place for everything in your studio in order to know where to put things. I recently built this filming setup to be able to record videos faster. And this is one of those things again where Having a tool that works exactly how you need it to work comes in incredibly valuable, especially when you have a limited amount of time available. All right. Looking at our to-do list for the day, I have a call with a buddy of mine in about an hour, so it's gonna be hard to film the video for Instagram that I wanted to film today. So I think I'll do a quick email catch up and then take a couple of photos. It's often that you plan too much for a day, especially when you only have an hour or two in the afternoon, but that's fine. The deadline is not really a hard deadline. I'll just try to, to film that later this week. We've done the studio cleanup, which has been on my list for a couple of days now. So yeah, I'm happy with that. with those things that you don't see on YouTube, but we have to charge the keyboard. <laughs> I usually like to stand up while doing no effort tasks, such as email, just another way to get energized throughout the day. For video editing or other high effort tasks, I tend to sit down, but... I see a day to see a job is what it made me. We just lost Wi-Fi. Dude, come on. There we go. Okay, so we are already a bit behind schedule, which was to be expected. But I think I'm gonna quickly take a few photos of the studio space. I wanted to post a few updates of my studio on Instagram, so I'm gonna use my Fuji X100V for that. Super great camera, super small, great image quality. I don't even have to edit those photos because the film recipes are just so good. And then I have a call in about 15 minutes, so yeah, let's hurry up a bit. I could have been the baller, playing on the courts and shit, shooting three pointers cross. So for Duncan is sick. Oh, I could have been the doctor. Fuck it. Now I'm obs. Lead up on these streets is getting deep until the shock. Yeah, mobsters. Yeah, I can leave the room if you wish. While I kick some little story and it goes like this. See my story, it was told and feeling forever. So the photos didn't really turn out the way that I hoped they would. Um yeah, it's it's annoying at times because you want to get something done really fast and especially when I'm vlogging as well. This is my first time like recording a day in the life. It's definitely frustrating when something doesn't work out. I think I have to take those photos again when there's more sunlight outside because right now it's already getting pretty dark. But yeah, I have to hop on the call with Will. We are just going to be catching up, talking through some ideas, creative stuff. 
I think the biggest thing that helped me and would help other people is having like one massive goal, one thing to focus on. I read a book from Gary Keller. It's basically saying like, rather than have a million things that you want to do. So like for creators, a lot of times it's like, oh, I need to start a newsletter. I need to start a YouTube channel. I need to you know post 10 times a day. I need to grow Twitter. Have one major focus and only do things that align with that goal. You know, you present it with an opportunity and you think it's an opportunity, but really it's a distraction. Because if you ask yourself like, is this going to move me closer to what I want to do? The answer is no, then it's probably not worth your energy. My goal is essentially to create a platform that just enables creators to go from being that like, you know, lost, confused creator to someone who's like proud of what they're creating and doing it in like a meaningful way. You know, it's easy to fall into the trap and always try to make the best work possible and get as many things done as you possibly can. But sometimes it's better to accept when you just can't get everything done. I think I have to learn to prioritize certain things and work on those more instead of trying to focus on everything at the same time. Today was a prime example of having too many things planned will actually make you do less things in the end. Those two to three hours that I had this afternoon were clearly not enough, especially when you have to hop between different tasks all the time. So it's better to maybe dedicate days to certain tasks and not minutes, hours. It's really hard, especially as a part-time creator. And if that means you stop doing certain other things, that's fine. I'm going to rethink how I approach my content, how I approach the way that I work on stuff and what actually is essential, especially with YouTube. This is something that I really enjoy doing and it's super refreshing compared to those short form Instagram videos. Another massive thing, especially for new creators, I, I think is like redefining what you define as success. Like I think it's super common nowadays to define success as the number of like likes or comments or views you get on a video rather than be like, I didn't win today because I posted my video and it completely flopped look at it as like, I won today because instead of not making a video, I did create a video. It often seems like, especially online, that you're the only one who is going through something. But talking to other like-minded people across the world is super helpful. I'll see you in the next one.